Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to talk about a new extrude tool called Extrude Manifold. So this one is very cool. And again, this is only in Blender 2.9 Alpha. Um, but if you're in a later version of Blender, it could say Extrude Intersect and Collapse or something like that. Uh, but what I want you to do is just switch on over to that tool and grab this face right here. This is our last face uh, going around our extrude cube here. And notice if we extrude this out three times, just like we did on the other sides. So we do one. Notice something's different. What do you notice that's different here? That's right. There's no line. There's no like break. Uh, there is kind of right there, uh, but there's no line up here at the top. So it didn't actually add geometry. It just kind of morphed out. And so if we do it again, just like we did before, one, two, three, notice nothing's happening. It's just stretching that geometry, which is totally different from the other three tools. But what's really cool about this is say if we went in, see how there's kind of like this black, like kind of looks like error lines. Um, that's exactly what it is. Um, but in the past, if you would have let this go uh, with just a normal extrude, uh, you would have had some you would have some weird geometry that wouldn't be 3D printable. But with this 3D manifold tool, if you push it back and let go, watch what happens to these lines. So I want you to try this. Bloop. Notice Blender has erased those lines and just kind of moved it on back, which is looks very simple if you're not used to this, but is incredible if you uh, have been using Blender for some time. It's pretty awesome. Um, and this is just the beginning of this tool, but um, notice we can even just pull it right back out. And you can kind of see some creases, um, some seams right around here. But if I let go, bloop, it just fixes it. And that is incredible. So what I want you to do is uh, just kind of pull this out. We're going to make three little um, extrusions here. So just hit E on your keyboard, E, and that will do a normal extrude and then do one more. So now we've kind of got, you know, something similar to the other ones, but now we're going to make sure we use the extrude manifold tool to have some fun. So to do that, just click on one of these faces and maybe for this one, we'll push it in. Bloop. Maybe for this one, push it. We'll push it out a little bit. And then maybe for this face and really for here, I just want you to play around with this tool and notice if you ever lose your beveled edges. So if you lose your beveled edges, that means you've broken it and it is no longer manifold. Uh, but I want you to just play around with these different tools and kind of just get the feel of what you can do. And notice there, uh, whenever I dropped this down, the bevels disappeared, but then when I released it, it came back. But the reason that's happening is because of this. Something is going on right here with this triangle. So I'm gonna just undo that because it looks not good. So maybe we'll go up with it, see what that does. There we go. So we'll bring that up. Maybe we'll bring this one down. There we go. What's cool is it also, it creates a new shape. So we can you know, maybe pull this one out like that. And then now we've got one right here. You know, if we wanted to pull that down, we could we could do that. That's pretty cool. Another cool thing is you can click on the uh, the face here. Maybe just hit E once, just, just tiny, you know, just make a tiny little extrude there, right on top of it, and then scale that in. And then you can use your extrude manifold tool to do some fun stuff there. So you can push that in. You know, maybe we want to bring this wall in just a little bit. Maybe bring this one out a little bit. Notice we've got some weird pieces right here. Maybe we'll extrude those. We'll bring those in. Maybe scale it down a little bit. And really just, you know, just have some fun. Just, uh, you know, see what you can do. See what you can come up with here. I'm just kind of pushing and pulling. Maybe scale that down. And notice we have kept our beveled edge the entire time. 
Maybe we'll take this one, push it in, scale it down. And we're really just making some really weird geometry. Maybe we'll do the same thing here. Maybe we'll uh, scale it down. Maybe push it in. And it's pretty cool. So I just want y'all to play around with it. Kind of get used to the feel of it. And just see what you can come up with. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, not too crazy, uh, but uh, you know, just something, something to uh, to mess with here. So just play around, see what you can come up with. Um, you know, and again, keep an eye on your beveled edge. If your beveled edge disappears, then just Control Z and undo it, uh, and just keep on playing with the uh, the extrude manifold, and just kind of get used to you know what breaks the the effect and what doesn't. So I'm looking right here. I've got some intersecting edges popping in right there. So that may not be good. So I just did Control or Alt Z to go into wireframe. So I can grab that. Maybe bring it, bring it on back here. That one was just popping through. So I just try to fix that if I see it. This one looks like it's kind of coming through there as well. There we go. So just don't want anything popping out of itself. I'm still just playing here. You know, do whatever you want. Pretty cool. It's a fun, fun, fun tool once you get the hang of it. Um, it can be kind of intimidating at first, but you know, just uh, just try some stuff. There we go. So, you know, nothing too crazy, but uh, you know, definitely, definitely a different kind of. Uh, design process. Whoa, so there you can see kind of made this really sharp edge, so I'm just going to undo that. But uh, very fun tool. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we're going to extrude to 3D cursor.